So hi, everybody is in here. This is me when I was little. Until today, I've been through so many things. But what makes me to be the leader of Toastmasters is inspiration. I don't know where or who did you get your inspiration from, but for me, the ones who gave me this inspiration is my mom. She always pushes me up whenever I fell down. Mom is such a special and the loveliest word I've never heard. She's amazing. As she barely finished fourth grade, but she never lets me live without education. Because of my lovely mom, I can do a lot of things through my own passion. Back then, since mom was not be able to find a well-paid job, so to afford, to afford school as a young kid, I got a business idea. I went out to cut brick stubble in my village, and another business of mine was selling cake in class. I bought cakes, candy, water, and some jelly in order to sell it to my classmates. I just saw me at the first time, they look at me like a stranger. However, I preserve despite the ignorance of their words and transfer all those feelings into my inspirations. As from day to day, I gain more and more customers. Then, in grade 10, I stopped selling sweets when I was for a job as an English teacher. All the money that I got, I used to pay my school fee by learning materials and sharing with my older sisters. Studying at university was another big problem, but I never lived my dream. Because I have my mom stay with me all the time. She repeated the same words to me that I can do it and go outside to find my own future. I do bear those words deeply in mind. During my high school years, I worked very hard because I believe that I can also inspire mom to show her beautiful for smiles to the world. Even sometimes, I meet difficulty that I cannot handle with, but because of my mom's warm heart and her word remind me all the time that I can do it. And as a result, I did it. I got scholarships from two universities. But what I expected was not real. I got the news that mom has got a serious disease that she may not be able to move her body anymore. Every time I call her, she seemed to be very happy. Anytime I ask her, are you fine, mom? And she said yes all the time. Because of getting low education, mom nearly lost her life because of had to work very hard through a physical body. I don't want to get the word loose, but I want to get the word keeps. I know some of you in here may ask your mom to buy expensive technology. As mom, she rarely say no. But when she buys for you, you just keep asking more and more because you get the influence from your friends around. It's okay to compare yourself to others, but please consider this. When you want to achieve your goals, try to look at others, at complete people, and you want to be like them. But when you want to personal, compare your personal life, try to consider others, less fortunate people, and you see that you are already lucky. Don't forget, behind your mom's smile is her exhausted and tired face. Behind your strong body is an old and big one. Don't wait until you lose her and you are regret of not doing something. Do something right now. Show your love and take care of her. Take some time and ask yourself what you've done to your parents. Is that good enough? If not yet, do it right now. My advice to all parents in here is also the same thing. Don't worry of having less money. Because sometimes we children grow better without money. We know that most of the time you are too busy to earn money. Yes, it's good, but what we do need from you is your time. We didn't need you to play with us as children. We didn't need you to cheer us up whenever we fell. And we do need you to listen to our stories, both sad stories and happy stories. So do something and remember that as human beings, we grow love from time, but not exactly from money. So back then, I found my inspiration, and I'm trying to do better for her. I have a question. Have you asked that question to yourself? What have you done to your parents? Remember, your parents' only wish is to see you walk in the right way and succeed in your life. 
So it's time to wake up and be your parents' inspiration. Don't wait until a perfect moment, but take this moment to be a perfect person for your parents. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, and I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>